of people think simplifying a fraction is where the fraction gets smaller, which is completely not true. Okay, so let's say if we have two quarters, okay, and we want to simplify that down. If we do that as like a bar model, I've shown this in other videos as well, because it's quarters, the, the denominator is four, so that means we split the bar into four. And we have two of those, okay? So this two quarters is also the same as one half because two quarters is half of this bar okay over that helps you to see it a little bit more so you see a lot of people think because the numbers are smaller that two quarters is bigger than a half which is not true okay we need to make sure we get you know lose that thought okay it isn't it's just one half is simplified of two quarters okay they're not the same size as you can see here two quarters is the same size if we split this bar into a half, it's exactly the same, okay? Two quarters is the same as a half. Let's do another example, okay? So let's say if we have four sixths. What I want you to do is pause the video and see if you can simplify that fraction. I'll be out the way here so you've got to back it. Okay, so you should have paused the video and had a go. You should have got it down to two thirds. And to help you understand that, same again, if we have this bar and the bottom number six, the denominator six of two, three, four, five, six. Your bar doesn't have to be perfect, you can tell mine's not perfectly and all equal, but it just helps with just the general understanding. And then if we split that into thirds, we can now see four sixths is the same as two thirds all that helps you understand it okay another way if you didn't have this bar like for this one think what number or what factor bring in another lesson that we had into this one what number goes into two and into four you know we're not using one okay because then you, you won't simplify the fraction bigger than one and the answer in this one is two so you can do divide them both the top number and the bottom number by two so as you see there two divided by two is one Four divided by two is two. Right, so say that works the same with this one. What number goes into four and six? Well, that is two goes into four and six. Another way to think of it, because they're even numbers, two goes into every even number. Okay, I've mentioned that before in another video. Two is a fact of every even number. So this is with bar modeling now. These are quite straightforward examples. Let's step it up a little bit. Okay, let's say we had 50 over 25. So if we've got even numbers now, what would that be? So pause the video, see if you can simplify that fraction. Okay, so what number goes to 15 and 25? Hopefully we've seen that five does. Yeah, any number that ends in a five, five goes into it. Five is a factor of any number that ends in a five. So divide the numerator by five, divide the denominator by five, and you get three fifths. Now, I'm not gonna draw a bar of 25 boxes, but hopefully this, you know, is help give you that bit of understanding into this. So 15 20 fifths is the same as three fifths, yeah? Hopefully now we're starting to see that. You know, we're starting to see that this fraction is the same size as this one. It's not smaller because the numbers are smaller. It's the same size. Right, I have a go at this one, so I'll box it up. I'll give you these. Two to have a go at now, and let's see if you can do this. So let's say we've got 28 over 30. What does that go to? And then let's say we've got 15 over 40. Well, so I was going to do another one, but 40. Pause the video. Can you do those two? Okay. Another way to think about it is just think if both numbers are even, just half it. Half it first, so that goes straight to 14 over 15. Yeah? Right, on this one here, I'll write the answer down, but I won't um, explain it first. You can pause the video and look at these if you got them wrong. So that should have got three eighths on that one. So you, if you didn't get the right answer, but now you've seen my answer, you want to have a go, pause it and see if you can do that. Okay, so I'll just put where I've got it from. So all I've done on this one, I've half both these numbers to get this. And here, I've divided 50, I've divided by five, and 
and 40, I've also divided by 5. Because 5 is a factor that goes into 15 and 40. The facts are multiples are different. Multiples are the times table. Factors go into a number. Right, let's box off. Let's step up a bit more now. So, next one. Have a go at this one. Let's say we've got 80 over... Let's see we've got 90. Okay. Right, pause the video. Have a go at that one. Okay, so if you see, 10 goes into it. Okay, <clears throat> so we can go straight into 8 over 9. However, let's say you didn't know that 10 goes into that number. What you could do, you could technically just keep halving the number much you can. There's another way to help you. So you could go, right, I'm not sure what the biggest number is, the biggest factor, but I know if I half it, because both numbers are even, if a number ends in a zero, it's even. So 40 or 45. And then you can think, right, what number goes into 40 and 45? Well, 45 is odd, so an even number goes into an odd number, so 5 does, so how many 5 is in 40, that's 8, how many 5 is in 45, that is 9. Yeah, another way to do it, you can go straight from that to that, okay, by dividing by 10, you can do that, but that's another method to do it. Right, have a go now at this one, let's make it a bit more hard now, so let's go 15 over 6, ooh, an improper fraction. So pause the video, have a go at that one. Okay, so this one, you can convert it first if you want to. You can go straight to a mixed number and go, well, that's two and three sixths. Yeah, because I've got a video on this with improper fraction mixed numbers, so I'm not going to go fully into it. So I've got the two from how many sixes going to 50, or two, and there's three left over. And then you can simplify that, two and three sixths, is the same as a half. Alternatively, you can simplify it first and then go to this. So what number goes to 15 and 6? That's 3. So how many 3's are in 15? That is 5. How many 3's are in 6? Is 2. And then you can simplify that to 2 and a half. Okay? So there's another way to do it. Right, we'll do one more involving an improper fraction. Let's say we've got 22 and 8. Yeah, have a go at that one. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so you should have paused the video and have a go. I'm going to simplify this first before going in, before converting to a mixed number. So 22 and 8, that goes to 11 over 4. All I've done, I just half both number, half the numerator, half the denominator. So then, how many 4s go into 11? That's 2, and I'm left over 3 quarters. Okay. So this is simplifying fractions. We've gone from you know, your basic ones, you know, just use a bit of bar modeling to show you. So a bit more trickier using odd numbers. Then we've gone to improper fractions as well. Yet again, really important. They're always either a one mark question. You'll see them on a prime school paper. You'll see them on a high school paper as well. A lot of it can be, you know, a big question. And the last mark is simplify your answer. Okay. So this has been Master Jacko. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've benefited from it, and I hope you've now got more of an understanding of this topic, and it is so important, it is always on an exam paper. Don't forget to click subscribe, follow me on Facebook, and hopefully I'll see you next time on Master Jacko. Take care.